Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing the Harry Potter Pottermore sorting hat quiz. So I've done this quiz in the past and I can't really remember what I got and I can't remember what I put, like what answers I put down. I don't know if they reflect me now. So I'm going to be doing it again for a video to see what I get. Okay. So I'm on the website right now and I'm going to start the quiz. Before I start, leave down below which house you think I'm going to be sorted into because I, I have a feeling I know kind of which ones I will be and which ones I might not be, but yeah. <laughs> Okay, there's some weird noises, but I'm going to put in my name now. Loading. Okay, all set. Welcome to the official Harry Potter fan club. Okay, so my mum called, so that's why the camera angle is different now. But, oh damn. Okay, so we're going to be discovering my house, so... Let's begin! <laughs> Discover your Hogwarts house. Start the sorting ceremony. Okay. Moon or stars? Definitely moon. After you've died, what would you most like people to do when they hear your name? Ask more stories about your adventures. Miss you but smile. Think with admiration of your achievements. I don't care what people think of me. After I'm dead, it's what they think of me. When I'm alive, that counts. I'm gonna go with that one because, yeah, because I don't really care. Like, I'm gonna be dead. <laughs> if you could have any power, which would you choose? Power to read minds, the power to change the past, the power of invisibility, the power to speak to animals, the power of superhuman strength, the power to change your appearance at will. Okay. I'd like to read minds. I think I think that's the most cool. I like the past one, but if things didn't happen in the past, it wouldn't be like this in the present. So, if you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? I'd take an owl, actually. <laughs> okay, which type of owl? Barn owl, tawny owl, snowy owl, screech owl, brown owl. I'm gonna go with snowy owl. What kind of instrument most pleases your ear? The piano, the drum, the violin, the trumpet. Oh, the piano. I love the piano. If you can play piano, I'm jealous because I really want to learn how to play piano. Which would you rather be? Liked, trusted, feared, envied, imitated, praised. Trusted. Yeah, trusted. Late at night, walking alone down the street, you hear a peculiar cry that you believe to have a magical source. Do you draw your wand and stand your ground? Withdraw into the shadows and await developments. One meant to be with you in the most appropriate and defensive and offensive spells should trouble occur. I'd go into the shadows. <laughs> yeah. I just wait. I, I, I don't want to. I don't want any trouble with anyone. If it was an evil wizard, left or right? Right. Left. The sorting hat is ready to make its decision. Okay. Let's see. Ravenclaw. Oh my god. The thing is, I feel like, I'm, I'm not certain, but I think Ravenclaw is what I got the first time. Hmm, wit, learning, wisdom. I don't know if I have much wisdom or wit, but... Okay, some Ravenclaw. I mean, yeah, I guess I could see myself being a Ravenclaw here. Yeah. Okay, should we do the wand? I think we should. Okay, my wand. Okay, we're gonna do a wand. Let's begin. First of all, would you describe yourself as average height, tall, or short? Okay, I would describe myself as average. It really depends who I'm near. But I'm. I would say I'm average. I'm about five foot. 
five maybe possibly I, I really don't know I haven't measured myself in a while but I'm probably around five foot five and I'm pretty sure that's average height and your eyes dark brown black blue okay mine are dark brown was the day on which you were born an even number on oh, no. An odd number, 29. And you most pride yourself on your determination, imagination, resilience, intelligence, originality, optimism, or kindness. I'd say kindness. I feel like, I feel like I'm very kind to people, even if they're horrible. Kindness, I also feel like some people would say I'm very optimistic. A lot of my friends would say I'm optimistic, but I don't think I'm very optimistic. <laughs> I try to be. I try to be around other people, but myself, Bit pessimistic but <laughs> I have got a good imagination but I'd go with kindness can you hear my laptop overheating you probably can't but it's overheating traveling alone down a deserted road you reach a crossroads do you continue left towards the sea right towards the castle head towards the forest right towards the castle do you most fear fire darkness isolation heights small spaces well, first of all, I'm, <laughs> I'm afraid of all of those, so. The worst, I'll have to go with heights. Yeah, heights. In a chest of magical artifacts, which would you choose? Silver dagger, ornate mirror, <laughs> glittering jewel, bound scroll, golden key, dusty bottle, black glove. Hmm, silver dagger, that sounds interesting. Vine wood with a dragon heartstring core, 12 and a half and quite bendy flexibility so that right there is my wand people that is my wand i like i like i don't know if you can hear that when i put that close but it's literally overheating should i do my patronus i'm gonna do the patronus too even though my computer for some reason is dying computer the Patronus is a kind of positive force, a projection of the very things that the Dementor feeds upon. Hope, happiness and desire to survive. Discover your Patronus. Okay, you can only do it once. These questions of time go with my instincts, so I've got to be quick. I'm very slow at reading, so I might not read these out loud because it might take me a while to get them correct. Serve, protect, seek. Ah, uh, protect. I hope this is recording. <laughs> Bone, blood, blood. I'm very squeamish around blood, but blood's cool, it's interesting. Oh, jingle, jingle. <laughs> Prowl, play, preen, play. Oh, okay. You're so close to a Patronus, something's taking form. Okay, I'm a bit creeped out. Safe or free? Free. One more question, you're nearly there. Okay, the sounds are actually... Hi guys, so the last bit sadly cut out. Um, I'm not sure why, but my Patronus was the West Highland Terrier. And that's what I got for the last bit. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Turn your oh. turn your notification bell on so you'll be the first to see when I post a new video. See you next time. Goodbye.